Ah bonjour, today is vlog day 643. To another edition of Jay's up early and didn't go to bed till late because he had to edit and get a lot of work done and has to work this morning and it's no fun edition time. It's Friday. I gotta go teach English all day and I yeah I, I think I got five hours of sleep which is nah who cares. It's time to go teach English all day. That's basically the gist of the day and then I'm and then I'm flying out of here. So, yeah, I think I'm packed. I don't know, I, I gotta go though, or I'm gonna be late. Some wood fired truck pizza for lunch. I have a couple things I want to talk about today, and I gotta, I mean, I'm, I'm talking, I'm stuck at school all day, so it's just gonna be kind of a talky video. But the main thing I want to talk about is my current frustration with social media in general, just things that are kind of annoying with it. I almost talked about this on the live stream the other day, but I was in a really bad mood. Today, I'm in a pretty good mood, so it seems like a good day to talk about something that's kind of, uh, you know, annoying me. I happen to pick the only like level surface in the area is the one that's right next to this bird that just has to be so loud. Try to get away from him, hold on. Not much of a background, but I suppose that'll illustrate my point that much better. That bird is incredibly loud. I walked for a while, I can still hear it. Hopefully it's not annoying to you guys, but it's a little bit annoying to me. Speaking of things that are annoying, I don't mean to go on a rant or anything here, but one of the things that's really important to me about my vlog is that I maintain a sense of authenticity by actually being as authentic as I can be. And part of that is just, you know, representing life for what it is every day. I have good days, I have bad days. I try not to shy away from those. I try to share my bad days along with my good days. And I hope that the good days continue to grow and outnumber the bad days as my life has taken some really, really wonderful turns lately and continues to make positive turns. So that's really good. The thing that frustrates me in general though right now, and one of the things, the reason I think I've been inspired to, to talk about this more than anything has actually been Facebook. I don't use Facebook, and this is actually a misconception among my friends, I think, that I use it a lot because I post a photo every day, and I've posted a photo every day on Facebook for like seven years almost, six and a half years. Is it, has it been seven years? That's pretty crazy, it's been a long time. And at the same time, I really don't like the platform. For years now, I've basically just posted it to keep going, to kind of keep putting that out there, to let people stay in touch with me if they want to, but I don't interact with Facebook very much because when I scroll through Facebook, one or two things happens. One is the main thing is that I just find myself wasting time. Like as I'm scrolling, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm still there. I'm not gleaning anything. There's no value to what I'm reading. People have pointed this out. There's a psychological element to the way Facebook is designed just to keep you there. There's no real value to it. There's no benefit. When I'm on Reddit, I find interesting things. I read them and then I move on. When I'm on Twitter, I scroll for a bit, read some jokes, have a good time, and then leave. Like I'm in and I'm out. I get something that I want and I'm gone. With Facebook, there's something sticky about it. And not only that, but it's hollow. Like the experience that you get when you use it is brutal. And again, I'm not here to rip on Facebook specifically, even though I want to delete my account and I cannot, unfortunately because it's tied into some work that I'm doing, not even this, uh, just actual like side work, that actual like project work that I'm doing. What I'm really concerned about is what Facebook is very good at doing and that is presenting the best of other people's lives and Instagram is actually very guilty of this as well. I still prefer Instagram, like I still like Instagram. I don't think it's a bad platform at all. I really enjoy it and I enjoy posting on it but Instagram is another really good example. I've been posting that photo every day on Instagram. As soon as it became available for Android, I was on it posting every day. If you go to my Instagram feed, you're gonna see years and years of photos without missing a beat. Like I managed to post, I don't know how, but I managed to post a photo every day for ever. And my feed is not cultivated. It's very much like I try to make it an honest representation of my day. Sometimes it's just whatever video I happen to have on hand, but I try to make it like as, as honest a representation or just a nice photo that captures a little bit of that day. I know how I could grow my Instagram a lot more. I, if I posted more pictures of the Eiffel Tower, dogs around Paris photos, there are certain kind of cultivated photos that I see and I know that they're more expected, that they get higher interaction, that people like them more. I could shift and cultivate my feed to just target that if I really wanted to. That is 
boring to me and I don't think it's real it's not life like real life is not always sitting and having wine by the Eiffel Tower same with my vlog I could work really hard every day to present the best face to you guys I could always be smiling everything could be great I could show you my wonderful life here but life here is tough just like life is tough anywhere and I've had to struggle a lot just to survive here the last year has been a wicked struggle to survive like awful it was it was so bad and so stressful and the benefit of having a vlog and the benefit of trying to be honest and authentic in how I communicate is that it also forces me to think out loud and to really stand by and look at my life and review everything minute by minute if not at the end of the day and recognize you know what this is not the attitude I want to have about this I don't want to be as sour or as upset as I am right now I want to do something about this and then make changes to my attitude make changes to the way that I see the world and make changes to the way that I interact with it all that to say that then I struggle because when I see other people cultivating the, the perfect feeds, lives, videos, whatever, I immediately don't, don't trust them. Um, anybody that's constantly and 100% happy all the time, I'm very leery of. I have, I have one friend in particular who I really, I really actually genuinely love this guy a lot, but he is without a doubt the single most positive person I've ever met. Everything is positive, everything is good all the time. The silver lining is brighter than the dark cloud at the center and he will not say a negative thing about anything in the world because he just believes that, I don't know why actually, I, I've never been able to get an honest answer out of him either. He just is like, no, everything is great. And that's not true. The world is full of dark and horrible things. Like I've seen my fair share and I haven't seen nearly as much as so many people in the world. This is, it's a hard, it's hard. Life is hard. The world is a hard place to exist. And the last thing I think we need to do is walk through it with a giant smile on our face, pretending everything is okay all the time and nothing is wrong because there are things that are wrong. And unless we can be honest about that, we will never be able to have an exchange. If, if I don't honestly tell you guys that I'm having a bad time, you'll never know when I'm having a really good time. Like everything just kind of washes out. If everyone's special, nobody's special, that kind of a thing. And at the same time, it's just very human. Like we have highs and lows. I have very strong highs and lows sometimes. And I don't think it's healthy to just wash over all of that and try to just neutralize it or bring it all to like screaming highs all the time. So why am I talking about this? I don't know what the inciting incident was necessarily and I don't know who it was that really annoyed me the most. I just feel like that there's, there. I don't have enough time in the day to waste on fake stuff on fake lives on fake stories on just cultivated like here's the best of everything all the time i do enjoy instagram feeds that are like nothing but beautiful drone shots nothing but beautiful mountain scenes like that kind of stuff that's fine it's nice to see those things if you've got an account that's nothing but kittens and puppies i'm okay with that there's nothing wrong with that but what i'm talking about is on the personal exchange level when people are telling you like hey everything in my life is perfect all the time i'm perfect blah 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 that's a concern and for me i hope i never do that to you i really hope that i can stick to this commitment that i have to make an honest record of my life on obviously it has to be somewhat entertaining I, I can't I'm not gonna show you like bathroom shots you know anything like that at the same time I don't want to gloss over the realities that are life and I want to share the struggles that I have as I pursue the goals that I've set for myself in life and one of those struggles today too is is interesting I've been receiving like a heightened level of criticism in some random ways and for the most part it doesn't bother me that much especially when it's like like some people have some really weird things that either annoy them or that they, they don't like about my vlog my editing style or music or some mannerisms that I have or ways that I, whatever. The reality is for the most part, it doesn't bother me because I know that there's a core audience here that the, the average you watching this, you uh, enjoy me for whatever reason for what I'm doing. And it's just me. Like I just want to represent myself well. I want to edit the way I edit. I want to vlog the way I vlog and not because I think I do it the best or that I couldn't do it better. I want to continue to improve because I have a long ways to go. And so I'm open to criticism. If you guys have feedback on ways that I could make anything and everything better, I'm always open to that. Feedback's always welcome. It's more that I don't want to falsify who I am. I don't want to remove things because maybe it annoys somebody when it really is just a part of who I am and I don't want to add things to make myself look better or to make myself more attractive or to make my channel grow more quickly or things go my way a little bit better if they're not really a part of who I am. I could cultivate my YouTube channel, I could make videos that would grow faster. If I focused on certain things, certain aspects of where I live, what I'm doing, I know that I can make my channel grow faster, but I also feel like it would remove a part of the soul of what it is I'm doing, and that I don't want to do. So. This has been a little bit of a philosophical rant today, but I hope that we're on the same page because it's really important to me to maintain a sense of honesty and trust with you as a viewer and just in general, like I want to be an integral person. I want to have integrity. I want to show 
who I am and be who I am. And I just want to be, I want to accept who I am myself. I want to accept myself for who I am. And part of that is being willing to put myself out as I am to the world and say, you know what? Take me or leave me. This is who I am. I got to go back to teaching English now, but I hope that that was at least somewhat, I hope it made sense. And maybe it was beneficial to somebody out there to hear. Either way, I'm just going to try and be myself and be the best version of myself that I possibly can be while accepting that I am a, still a broken and flawed human being. And I'll never be perfect. Just like scooters apparently never be perfect. Why do they put weed whacker engines in scooters? I will never know. Anyways, I got to get back to work. And then we got to get to the airport. teaching done, but now we're suffering delays on the train to get back into Paris, which I do remember kind of what the inciting incident was, but it's more of a general thing. We'll talk about it here in a minute. All right, so I just concluded a, a very long search for my UK adapter, which is gonna come in very important. It's the one I took me to the ship. Is it, The whole ship is on the UK standard, and I didn't know where I put it. But to bring it back to my earlier point, why I'm really not a fan of social media. In the end, I feel like, and this is what I'm struggling with, I guess you look at all these people who seem to have their life together, who seem to have their career together, especially on the creative side, because it's such a struggle just to get anywhere. And the more you see people who you know are doing as well as they say they are, the more you distrust people that say they're doing really well. And it causes this, a little bit of resentment for people to lie to you, I guess. But it also just leaves you, I guess for me, for one, it leaves you really, really excited for the people who actually are doing well. When you find out that somebody is actually doing well, I'm so much more excited than when like, I'm not sure or I, I know that they're struggling and just kind of putting on a face about it. So for one, I love authentic success. For two, I love authentic struggle. I love it when people are genuine and they tell you the truth about the matter. They tell you that they're struggling. They tell you that things are hard and they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what's coming next. They're just not sure what to do with their lives. That is so much more valuable and so much more uh, impactful to me than any amount of fake success. I struggle with it too because then the inferiority that you feel when you look at people who are doing what you do or doing something similar to what you're doing, succeeding wildly where you're struggling or you're failing, obviously that causes you to feel inadequate, but I think doubly so in a weird way when you find out that they're not even being true about it because it almost removes the promise or the idea that you can be successful because these people that you thought were successful really aren't as successful as you thought they were. It's a really weird, interconnected, convoluted thing. But at the end of the day, it's not that social media itself is bad and it's not that people are bad. It's just how we often use social media that really drives me up a wall. And I know I'm probably preaching to the choir. You probably have very similar ideas about social media, but for me, authenticity is key and I wanna hold on to that and I wanna make sure that I'm I'm right there. And I know that like as things continue and as I become somebody that some people do look up to as a path to success, because I hope I succeed, if nothing else, I really hope that I can hold to that idea of just being true to where I'm at, true to who I am, and true to the struggles that come with it and the weirdness that comes with it. And that I still have yet to figure out how to properly handle and talk about, but we'll figure it out. All that to say, I've spent a lot of time standing here talking to you when I probably should be on a train on my way to the airport. So I need to go do that right now. I hope you enjoy the madness of this weekend. I gotta go meet Pushan. He's already flown out of the country. I need to fly out of the country after him. Ugh. I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for some adventures. I'm not gonna tell you where we're going, but some of you know, I'm sure some of you have figured it out. And for those of you who haven't, it'll be a wonderful surprise tomorrow. Unless you spoil it with, you know, some uh, Instagram stories or whatever. But that's fine, because that's what those are for. Anyways, see you tomorrow. And push on and then to get sleep maybe that's a good sign wait wait, wait. No, I'm not. Look, at, look at that it's cold here <laughs>